Yo, what is going on guys? Sirius here. In today's video, I'm going to be starting a new series in which I teach the GSC scripting language used by Call of Duty. Uh, now, first of all, I want to go ahead and mention that if you are just trying to run a project, this is not the series for you. Uh, this is for creating your own scripts uh, and creating your own mods and your own menus and things like that. Uh, the first few videos will be kind of the very basics of GSC, uh, just to get people to understand kind of what GSE is and how it works. Uh, and then from there, we'll be working on uh, writing our own menu base and things like that. Uh, so this series will be good for beginners and uh, intermediate developers of GSC, and then probably advanced uh, developers down the line, but we'll see about that. So the first thing I wanna mention as well is that we're going to be using Infinity Loader for this series. Uh, you can try to follow along on Black Ops 2 using GSX or GSC Studio. However, uh, I'm going to only support people working on Infinity Loader because uh, in the future, Infinity Loader is going to have a lot of games. Uh, and basically, this is the future of GSC. There's no, there's no competition at the moment. Um, and I don't see any point in supporting uh, GSC Studio as my tutorial series when Infinity Loader is going to be the main thing from now on. So uh, yeah, so I would pick up Infinity Loader. Um, if you're watching this series in about a month or two, uh, I don't want to give any definite timelines, of course, but if you're watching this series after the Black Ops 2 compiler has been added to Infinity Loader, uh, then you won't have to worry about the part I'm about to mention. But for anyone who is doing it now, Infinity Loader is not free. Uh, you're going to need to pay for compiler access for the game you want to mod. I'm doing Modern Warfare 3, uh, but you can mod uh, Modern Warfare 2 as well. Uh, definitely check their supported platforms before you buy it. I know a lot of people like to mod PS3, and unfortunately PS3 is not supported at this time. Uh, but you can mod Steam and Xbox. And uh, if you want to mod Modern Warfare 2, you can probably follow along in the series as well, because both games are nearly identical in what they support. Uh, so you should be able to follow along pretty easily, but I would pick uh, the game you want and it's like 15 bucks a month or something um, So if you you know really want to get into this go ahead Otherwise, you can just wait for the black ops 2 compiler to be free um, Anyway Let's go ahead and get started with this So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go into the compiler tab after you've purchased access to the tool and go ahead and make a new project I'm going to call this uh, GSC Tutorial, uh, and it's going to be by Sirius, of course. Uh, I'm going to be doing Modern for 3, so I'm going to use Modern for 3. I know you see these games here. Don't worry about them. They're not supported, so I would just worry about uh, the game Modern for 2 or Modern for 3. Uh, pick multiplayer or single player. If you're doing Spec Ops, you need to pick single player, but I'm doing multiplayer, so I'm just going to pick multiplayer. Uh, when you get this, don't freak out. You don't need to know what any of this means right now. Uh, go ahead and delete these lines here. We don't need them anymore. Uh, go ahead and delete these lines. We don't need those either. Uh, your script should look something like this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add something to this really quickly for the tutorial. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and download the GSC file that I linked in the description, which is my utility. Uh, it'll update as we go through the series, but for now it's only got two functions in it. Well, it's got about five, but the two that we need to use are in there. You're going to want to get this serious GSC, and you're going to want to go to your uh, Infinity Loader folder in your Documents, Projects, MW3, or whatever your game is, and then the project. I called it GSC Tutorial, so I'm going to put it in here. Go ahead and paste it in. Uh, and Infinity Loader is not going to pick it up, so we're going to have to reload the project. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit open, pick the game, tutorial, and load it. Uh, and then we're gonna have this in here. So what this is gonna do for us is allow us to have two of the functions that we need to be able to give ourselves God mode. Uh, these functions are supported on Black Ops 2, uh, but they are not supported on Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. So we have to go ahead and implement them ourselves, but I did all the work for you because this is a basic tutorial and you shouldn't have to worry about any of this. Uh, so, uh, one thing we do need to do really quickly is in the init function, when I say function, function is just a list of commands for the game to run. Uh, and you'll always know it's a function because it'll have this setup where it'll be like 
a name and then two parentheses. It might have some text in there, but you don't have to worry about it for now. Uh, and then an open bracket and a closed bracket and then some stuff inside. Uh, these brackets are really important, by the way. Whenever you see them, you need to make sure that they line up. You'll see this line coming from most of the brackets, uh, which will help you trace down if you're missing uh, closing brackets or whatever. But in the init function, we're going to go ahead and add a new line and we're going to type thread serious util. Okay, and now keep in mind this function will only exist if you added my GSC to your project. So you need to make sure that you followed that part. Otherwise, this function won't exist and it won't help you. Then we're going to go into the on player spawn function. Uh, we're going to clean it up a little bit really quickly. We're going to put a space there, space there. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change this welcome message to just be uh, something simple. You are now in God mode. Uh, and we're going to type self enable invulnerability. Make sure you have these two parentheses and then put a semicolon. Anytime you do uh, a command in GSC, you need a semicolon after it. That's how the game tells what the end of the command is. Uh, this programming is just writing a list of commands to the computer. It, it's just telling the computer what you want it to do step by step. So if you look at this step, we're telling the computer to run our invulnerability function, which will put us in God mode. Uh, and we need to tell it that that's the end. You can see that in every function or every command, there's a semicolon. Don't worry about this one. We'll talk about this in another video. Uh, but yeah. We're going to go ahead and set up to inject now. First things first, uh, we want to check and make sure that our syntax is good. Uh, the syntax is the rules of the language. Whenever you're talking uh, English or Spanish, anything like that, they're rules for when you're speaking. You have to use proper grammar. You have to use proper, if you're writing it, you need to use proper spelling, etc. Uh, the same thing goes for a programming language. The computer needs to be able to understand what you're telling it to do. So the syntax is just the rules of the language. Um, so like for example, uh, we have none right now as long as you did everything correctly. Uh, but let's say we remove this semicolon, right? You remember how I told you every command needs it? Well, what happens if we just don't? When we check syntax, we're going to get a syntax error here. You don't have to worry about what any of this means, but uh, we should be able to go directly to it. It'll highlight this and say, no, this is bad. You're missing something. And uh, if we look at our command, we're like, oh, we're missing a semicolon, and we fix it. And then when we check our syntax, we get no warnings and no errors again. Uh, that'll, that's, this is how you will always tell whether there's something, uh, something really obvious wrong with your script. Now, this won't catch everything, but it'll catch a lot of problems with your script, and it'll save you from freezing. If you try to inject a script with problems in it, uh, because we're modding, the game will just freeze. It doesn't know what to do from there. So you'll want to avoid freezes as much as you can. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and connect to the platform we want. Depending on your game, you're going to need to pick your game. You're going to need to pick whether you're in multiplayer or single player. I'm in multiplayer, so I'm picking multiplayer. And you'll want to pick your platform, Steam or Xbox. I'm on Steam. So we're going to go ahead and click back to the compiler tab. Don't worry about this RCE tab. Uh, you're not going to need it for now. Just worry about the compiler tab. And go ahead and go into your project. Uh, I would have your game window slightly off to the side so you can see when it injects and go ahead and click the inject button. As long as you did everything right, you should see compiling project, injecting project, and then project injected. You might also see it say setting things up for the first time you inject to the game. Um, but don't worry about that. As long as you see this type of deal, you're good to go. And we'll go ahead and start the game. Now when we spawn in, I'm going to go ahead and pick Inner Circle, and I'm just going to pick the default Overwatch class because it has a rocket launcher and a grenade, which is important. You'll see in the bottom left corner of your screen, you are now in God mode. Uh, that shows you that everything works. You'll also be able to run around before the game starts. Uh, that's how you'll know it's injected. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill myself now. And as long as our God mode function works, I can't kill myself. You see? Um, I'm going to hold a grenade too because this is important. A lot of... Uh, and vulnerability functions can't deal with this. And as you can see, I didn't actually die from that. Uh, now, I will say that uh, you can't die until you disable invulnerability, right? So 
if you just did this uh, in your script and you went online with it, uh, any person who spawned in would be in God mode. Uh, so, I mean, I guess that could be fun and could be useful, but let's say we want to disable invulnerability at some point. So we're going to go ahead and end the game. Uh, make sure, by the way, whenever you're injecting, that you are in the pre-game lobby. You can't just re-inject while you're in-game. You have to be in the in -game, in the pre-game lobby like this. Uh, otherwise, the game will freeze when you try to inject. Or Infinity Loader will just tell you you can't inject. I don't know which one it is. I haven't used Infinity Loader that much, but we'll find out probably eventually. So we have our God Mode function. Let's get out of God Mode. We're going to add a wait function. Wait. 15, then we're going to do self, I print line, and we're going to do, we're going to put these quotes here. You always need these quotes whenever you, you're doing some kind of text. Uh, this is called a string, and it's basically how you, you print text to the screen. Uh, you can use strings for more stuff, but for now, just what, just think of it as any kind of text. So we're going to print line, you are now, or are no longer in God mode. And then we're going to do self disable invulnerability. All right, so these are the three commands we added. You can see here we wait 15 seconds. Wait takes the number of seconds you're going to do. Then we I print line, which is just printing text to the screen. And then we disable invulnerability, which is going to take us out of God mode. Make sure you have your semicolons at the end of everything and make sure that you have your parentheses as well. Those are important. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and inject again. Now, if I were you, I would always check syntax before you inject. I didn't there because I know the syntax is correct, but for when you're starting, you probably want to always check syntax. I would also say to test your project very often. Uh, don't write like 300 lines of code and then just you know, try to test from there because what will happen is unless you're very experienced and know what you're doing, uh, you may write some errors into your script and it'll be really hard to track it down when it's 300 lines of code. Whereas if you test, you know, every 20 or 30 lines, it'll be a lot easier. So we're going to wait. It says you are no longer in God mode. And if we kill ourselves, well, I can't kill myself with a rocket because I don't do enough damage, but I can take a grenade. I should be able to kill myself and I'm dead. So, uh, yeah, that is our God mode and taking off God mode. Now, if you remember, I told you that if you spawn in, just any player spawns in, they're going to get this uh, God mode. Let's say we only want the host to have God mode. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to test that because uh, we don't have any non-host players in here. If I had a friend, I could test with me. But actually, I'm... We're, we're not going to get into that in this video. We'll get into that in the next video because I'm going to have to add something to the utility GSC in order to have that happen. Anyways, um, you can play around with this idea until the next video. Uh, in the next video, I'll probably go over uh, some basic things like variables. Uh, I'll go over uh, maybe an if statement uh, and maybe, I don't know, some other basic stuff. But uh, there you go. You've got a really basic script to give yourself God mode uh, and take it away. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and let me know how I did. Let me know if there's any things that you've noticed from the video that you would like to be done uh, or changed in the next video. Uh, I know music is probably going to be the first thing that people mention. Uh, I actually made a conscious choice to remove music uh, from this tutorial series just because I don't want to have anything distracting in the background. Uh, and I want people to be able to uh, concentrate or you know listen to this while they're working i i don't want my music to be going over other people's stuff um but you know if you have any things like any questions like over what i went over or something like that just let me know in the comments anyways i'll see you guys in the next video peace